Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Maybe this guy only got a couple of letters and numbers in his name, and he only know them letters. I'm Frogger, spelled with three Y's and a two U's, and a 76 number. That's our only numbers I know. There's no H in there. I don't know when to capitalize it when I speak. What if people first? What if people, uh, hold on, we're, we need to sync. Uh, three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hi. What were you saying? Uh, yeah, what if when people spoke, they, um, specified <laughs> if they were using capitals or not? Eh. Cap capitals. Uh, considering, uh, it's verbal and not visual. Yeah, dude, it would be so great. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, Hello, Elliot, with the lowercase e. Or like, hello, Elliot. <laughs> Ah! Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, Ellie, how's it going? <laughs> oh, it's Hello. like, oh, wait, no. It's like, ah, can you go and, can you go and get me a beer? Oh, by the way, thank you, Elliot. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nice one, James. Oh! Oh, my God, it's a slug. It's a bee. It's a slug. Oh, my God. Since when do slugs have wings? Since I made them do it with my magic wand, baby. Dude, speaking of bees, did you see that they finally announced the next ukulele game? Yeah, B for bullshit. Uh, close. It's called Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. And it's a 2D platformer. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, it looks like Don It looks kind of like Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, and... I was a little bummed at first, I was like, what? This is ukulele too. Wait, are, are you being serious? I'm being dead serious oh, right now. I thought you were just messing with me. No, I'm dead serious. It's called ukulele. Dude, you're the one who fucks with me, not my I know. Person. That's how this comedic duo partnership works <laughs> out here. Have you forgotten this? I guess I'm just not as gullible as you. Remember who you are. You are King Cletus, the one true king. You must take your place. As the oh person who fucks Lord. with James Look, on Royal Goobs. Oh my god! What the hell? Jesus Christ! It's Run. a catfish! It's a catfish! Wait, how do I get that? Scary. Uh. Oh, Ooh. oh right, you lick. Okay, of course. Oh, makes... shh. I'm nom nom feeding the fishes, bitch! <laughs> Baby! Mm. Alright. Let's try that again. Can we watch it again? We do. That's okay. Wow, he sure likes eating wood. He didn't even eat you. Did you see that? He yeah, just he's... swam right past oh, you. No, no, no. I'm not trying to eat you, dipshit. Just get the fuck out of my way. I'm trying to eat these pieces of wood. Mm. I floss my teeth with them. I make toothpicks. Dude, this moving is a little bit funky, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the ukulele trailer after this episode. It, lo it looks pretty good. Um, it's actually not. Uh, oh my god! You need it? No! I want the froggy. Yeah, I killed that fucking frog. <laughs> I kill for sport, not to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Douchebag. I thought I could have my frog and eat it too. <laughs> it's like freaking. Did you see Jurassic World? Yes. Do you remember the Indominus Rex? They find out like halfway through that yeah, he's not yeah. eating any of them. He's killing for sport. She's killing for sport. That's, oh my god! That's when the dinosaur. That's how you know the dinosaur is evil. Wow, that was the end of the level. That's it. I could. Wow, I could have done that earlier. Wow. Ooh wee! Saving. Oh, a bad girl. Oh, First yeah. level. What Woo. a frogger. Mmm. He's so cute. But yeah, so the new ukulele game, it's not ukulele 2. It's more of like a side game. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a direct follow-up or slash replacement. Yeah, as soon as I saw the trailer, I was like, it's a 2D platform. It's weird because there are 3D elements too. Like in the overworld, it's top-down view just like this. And there's platforming and you have to solve puzzles kind of like Zelda, I guess. But then when you go into the main levels, they're side-scrollers, like Donkey Kong Country. Uh, but yeah, no, like, when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know what to think of this. They're just downgrading it to a 2D platformer? What? Hmm. Do they have 
no faith in the 3D platforming genre they were trying to resurrect? What? But then I, I went on to the Platonic website, they had a fact, and they and they said no. Fact. FAQ. Yeah, no, I, I know. You fact. Mean, I thought that was funny. Fact is, yeah. And they said, uh, nope, this is not a direct sequel to Ukulele. It's more of its own kind of game. Phew. So I breathed, I breathed a sigh of relief. I was like, okay, good. Uh, I wonder if it's the same developers, if they got someone else. Oh, it is. And they, uh, Grant Kirkhope and David Wise are back for the soundtrack. Nice. Yeah. I don't think, I don't know if Steve Burke's gonna be back too, but... I bought uh, Super Mario Maker. Okay. Mario Maker 2? Yes. I'm just letting you know these things I don't know for sure, but I do know because I'm, I'm so smart. But when I step on these, they're going to try and eat me. They bit. look like piranhas. Yeah. Yep. What I say, dude. Oh, yeah. That's, that's slower than I thought, though. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, this makes it a little easier then. Oh, here we go. Little old school Frogger action over here. Heck yeah, my dude. It's funny that they. I find it interesting that they kept Frogger at his roots with the same gameplay, roughly, instead of with Pac Man, where it's like, Pac Man World for PlayStation? Okay, let's just make it a 3D platformer. Let's let's not make it like original Pac Man. Did you ever play Pac Man World? I did not, but I think I saw someone play it once, and I was like, I wish I had a console that would play this game. I had a. I got the second one, I think, for my birthday. Yeah. On GameCube, and I, I, I remember enjoying uh... it. Oh! <laughs> nice. But yeah, no, so, yeah, Pac-Man World's kind of fun. It's not like, I wouldn't say it's like an A-tier game, but it, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright. It's the butt-slamming, butt-bounce ability is a lot of fun. Hmm. Okay. okay. That's to get back when we do the loop. Can you meet the bugs? Good question. Hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, aside from ukulele, there was also, uh, Elliot and I were just talking about this briefly. Uh, they had the new Pokemon Direct recently. Yeah. I like half listened to it while I was shaving, so I didn't. <laughs> ah, I was trying to time it, but um, yeah, that's cool. I'm not, I'm not super stoked for that game like some other people are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> you don't want it to be as handholdy as Sun and Moon. Ah, uh, yeah. Nintendo, I love your games, but like, just let me do my thing. Like Breath of the Wild was so good. They didn't really hold your hand. They're just like, here's the basics. All right, get lost. They didn't do that in Odyssey either, did they? they no, they, they did. Pretty much they just... did a really good job in Odyssey too. I mean, the controls in Mario are very intuitive. They're very easy to get down, and there are signs that you can choose to read if Breath you want to. Breath of the Wild's pretty complicated, though. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, on the other hand, is more complicated. It like it, they do give you help, but it's not super forced. And like, let me hold your hand and walk you through this whole thing. Yep. Yeah. That's a good step. It's a good. It's a step in the right direction. So I'm hoping with this new Pokemon game that they're not gonna. I don't know. Make it obnoxious. Yeah, we'll see. This is a Pokeball. <laughs> At least give me the option like, yes, I have played Pokemon before. Let you skip the tutorial yeah. instead of having to make you be like, let me show you how to catch Pokemon. Yeah. You have to weaken them to, to 5 HP, then do this. How do I solve this puzzle, dude? Oh my god! Ooh, what's that shiny box? It unlocks the door. It's the all spark from Transformers. <laughs> Kinda does look like that. <laughs> Frogger's Adventures, Revenge of the Fallen, <laughs> or Dark of the Moon, or whatever. Hey, baby. But yeah, E3 is gonna be um, within the next few days. Yeah, it starts on Tuesday. Oh, and you're speaking of E3, so that yeah, sorry uh, again. I'm a little, I'm a little frazzled, viewers. Uh, uh, sorry to you, Josiah, as well. Uh, I'm playing a game and I'm super tired. Uh, I got like four hours of sleep, but I digress. This morning on YouTube and probably Twitch as well. Nintendo had some streaming event where they were showing off uh, Splatoon 2 championships and Super Mario Maker 2 Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, they designed, I don't know, maybe like four or five levels, and they were really cool. Tyr Tyrannical Reptiles in Power, or Trip. Trip is responsible for all of the recent kidnappings. They are a pretty tough bunch. First versus Trip. Okay. Uh, but yes, yeah, so... Um, since I have Twitch Prime, I was able to get a whole year of uh, Nintendo Online for free. Oh, wow. And since I had Nintendo Online for free, uh, if you have a Nintendo subscription, they're running this deal. Oh. <laughs> you get stuck in the water, really. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks him in. He starts getting ripped up. Um, 
they had this cool deal going where you could buy coupons for games. So I bought uh, basically two full price games for the price of like, I don't know, one and a th one and two thirds instead. Yeah, didn't you buy Mario Maker 2 for like $69.99? No, I bought two coupons for $100. Oh, okay. And then I can redeem them. So I redeemed one of the keys for uh, Super Mario Maker 2. And then the next one, probably gonna be for Animal Crossing. Jen loves Animal Crossing. It's hard to get Jen to play video games. But Jen will play Animal Crossing. I remember she also said she likes Viva Pinata, so... Yeah. It's, it's a fairly similar game, so that makes sense. Jen, you, you like Viva Pinata, right? Yeah. The, the last time I played it, yeah. That's what she said. Oh yeah, Jen's here today. <laughs> uh, Jen's always pretty... Well, not always. Lately. Yeah, lately. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. All right. Nice, uh, do I get... This game's kind of neat. It is. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Josiah said that this is one of his favorite childhood games. I think. Mm, I like it. I like it. I like it. I guess Crash Two will have to wait another day. Crash Two. God. Yeah. Maybe later. We'll see. <laughs> what was that? Just for some ultra bonus thing? Yeah. Uh. Oh. oh yeah, I was gonna share this story, dude. A freaking uh, when I was driving on the highway a couple days ago, uh -huh. um, a freaking spider got on me. Oh god! When you're driving 60 miles an hour and a spider or bug, okay, here's what happened. So I look up uh -huh. as I'm going 60, 60 an hour, and there's a freaking spider on the ceiling. Yeah. Now I thought of your logic with spiders, and that you set it free unless it's like right above your head. Yep. In which case, kill it because you don't want that thing falling on your face or. I don't know, crawling into your ear or mouth or something. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but I was like, no, I'm a pacifist. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> uh, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and drive, open the window, grab the spider and throw it out. <laughs> Let's see if I can multitask. I'm not normally good at this. But, <laughs> so, but then the spider falls on the floor and I'm like, oh, jeez. All right, well, it's on the floor now. Whatever happens, happens. <gasps> Suddenly... And keep in mind, I'm wearing shorts. I feel a little tingle, a little tickle thing right on my knee. <laughs> and I'm like, <gasps> oh the, and then when I just grab it, <laughs> threw him out the window. <sighs> Dude, why don't you play a couple? Yeah, sure. We, I mean, I feel like we have the hang now, right? Yeah. All right. Next time on Royal Goobs. Next time on Royal Goobs. <laughs>